Hello class, this is section 3.1 and this video is a follow-up to the previous one and I want to talk about the case where we have two roots of the polynomial, the quadratic equation that we derive in the, when we solve the constant coefficient but if the two roots are the same we have to do something a bit different so let me show you what I mean so let's consider a differential equation of this form. Okay, and the thing about so w is a constant here, and the thing about an equation of this form is that if we do the trick that we've been doing in the past, we set y equals e r x, what we end up with is r squared. I'm just going to cut to the chase here since we've done this several a few times before already. We end up with this. And of course, uh, ERX is always positive, so we can divide it out. But the problem is that we end up with this. So R squared plus 2RW plus W squared is just R plus W squared equals 0. So our solution for R, we only have one solution for R. R equals minus W. Right, so we can't really, we don't really get the second solution like we got in the previous times we tried this problem. But we do have a solution, e minus y equals e minus wx. We just have to find a second one. And for this sort of problem, all you have to do is to slap an x in front of that first solution. And you can plug it back in the original equation and see that it works. I encourage you to to do that as an exercise. Just like plug this in to that equation and see that this is indeed a solution. Well that's all there is to it and so the general solution to this sort of problem when there's a double root is just y equals c1 e minus wx plus c2x e minus wx. Alright, um, we'll go through an example in the next video.